The pitchback is a nose-high heading reversal which begins with a lift vector above the horizon but then finishes below it. You'll finish inverted at about 135 degrees of bank, where you can then level off or transition into another manoeuvre. Along with the slice back, the pitchback is something you can use to turn around very quickly, such as if you were in a dogfight and you had some separation and you wanted to turn around quickly and re-enter it. So in order to perform the pitchback, we're going to roll to 45 degrees and start our pull, then we'll continue pulling and rolling as we come around, so we'll finish on the opposite heading at about 135 degrees of bank, and then we can level off and transition into another manoeuvre. The pitchback is what we'll use when we want to reverse course quickly while maintaining manoeuvring airspeed. So as we roll to 45 degrees and pull, we'll increase the bank, so by 90 degrees of turn, we're 90 degrees of bank, and by the time we finish the manoeuvre, we'll be at 135 degrees of bank. You can modify the pitch back by adjusting the amount of G you pull and the roll rate to either create turning room or remove it from a bandit if you need to. In this example, we'll look at using the pitch back after a neutral head on pass. So, as the bandit gets closer, he's about to pass, we're going to pull it up into the vertical. He's going to do a flat horizontal turn in this case. So, we're going vertical and adding this pitch back. We've actually made our turning radius much smaller compared to his. So now that we've finished the pitch back, we'll transition into attacking him from above. We do our pursuit curve to come down, controlling our closure and distance. We'll be in range for some shooting. So here you see we come to a head on. Banner begins his flat turn while we go vertical. Then we start initiating our pitch back maneuver. Getting our roll in, pulling back towards him. And we pause it there. At this point, the pitch back is over. So this is the point you're going to decide whether you're going to level off or you can transition into something more offensive, which is what we do. And now continue rolling and coming in down and behind the bandit and taking advantage of him maybe losing sight of us so we can take some shots. In this example, we're starting out in front of a bandit. We're going to perform a pitch back towards him, and then we'll be in a position to attack. So there he is behind us. So what we're going to do, we're going to roll to 45 degrees and begin climbing. Continue the bank through 90 degrees until we finish 135. We've reversed our heading. Now we're facing the bandit, ready to perform our attack, which in this case will be a slice back. So we roll to 135 degrees and slice back towards the bandit. Using that pursuit curve coming down, and we'll be in guns range. To do a pitch back to a slice back, you'll want to reverse course and prepare for an attack afterwards. Your goal is going to be to change direction quickly and create the altitude with turning room to use against the bandit. You're going to perform a pitch back and then adjust it to create the turning room and altitude you need, and then in position, you'll initiate a slice back or another maneuver as needed to attack the bandit. The range from the bandit determines how fast you're going to need to reverse, but this is a technique that can be useful against bomber formations or other unaware targets. When you're doing it, it's helpful to be aware of the sun position, so you can take advantage of it by pitching back into the sun before coming back down. That completes the video covering pitchbacks. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. If you also enjoy what I'm doing here, you can become a subscriber, that way you can see these new videos as they're released.